Hi everybody. It's amazing to me how when I'm working on a project, one project can lead to another totally unrelated project which can lead to another experiment, another idea, and the road to discovery leads in unpredictable and unknown directions and exciting directions. Recently, I tried to make my lawnmower operate on vegetable oil, which I think was a success. You can check out that video right here if you're so inclined. However, I started thinking, well, vegetable oil sure is stinky when I heat it up. What about hydrogen? Hydrogen just burns and water is created. It's odorless, non-toxic anyway. So I thought, oh, maybe I can make hydrogen from aluminum because aluminum is very reactive. I could oxidize it and liberate hydrogen. So I was messing around with some molten aluminum in my pan here in the laboratory and I didn't have any real success getting hydrogen but at any rate I did notice when I had my aluminum melted in this pan, the pan was really hot because aluminum melts at 1200 degrees and I sprayed water in the pan an interesting thing happened. The water did not all evaporate there were little droplets inside of the pan that stayed in liquid form and kind of just cruised around in the bottom of the pan despite the fact that it was red hot and that was weird. I thought I might have been a witch or something. Well, it turns out that's just a little something called the Leiden frost effect. Leiden frost effect. One of those is the right pronunciation. And it was so cool that I thought I would try to duplicate it on a larger surface than the pan and maybe get some neat visual effects. I was so excited, in fact, that today we went to the thrift shop and we bought two things. We bought this cool book for my son. It's dogs on people bodies. Those kind of frumpy looking dogs. But other than that book, which I think my son will be confused with because he's only two and he might be scared of those dogs. In addition to the dogs, I found this chrome serving tray for 75 cents. It's not really suitable for food because it has some pitting and some rust, but this will be a super duper Leiden frost effect display table. So what I'm going to do momentarily is heat this thing up to a suitable temperature and see if we can't get some magic water jelly bellies scooting around on here. Okay folks, we are ready to rock and roll. For your listening pleasure, I've put together a little piece of music that I thought would go nicely with dancing water droplets. I will warn you, I'm not particularly musical. As a matter of fact, I can't play an instrument or sing. However, that hasn't stopped me from making a fool of myself in the past. Have you seen my driving video? You should really check that out, especially if you don't have an ear for music. But you see, sometimes I just can't help myself. 